just another hopefully short hard disk teardown, I have here a real vintage hard disk. Um, yeah, production date 2004-09. So yeah, about 15 years old. And it's a server hard disk, 73 gigabytes, <laughs> uh, 10,000 uh, RPMs. And um, yeah, of course it's a SCSI 320 drive and that is the hot, hot plug connector with the two noses here to, yeah, to align the connector if the disk is shoved in or pulled out of a computer. Um, 16 data lines, uh, low voltage differential, so two pins per data line. And uh, yeah, uh, did I mention 320 <laughs> megabytes per second bandwidth over <laughs> that large connector. So yeah, pretty agent and um, yeah, you might also have seen it. This thing is drawing almost 20 watts of power if you are, yeah, summing this here up. Of course, these are maximum values, but yeah, peak power about 20 watts. Um, there's also a lot going on on the board itself compared to modern drives. We will have a close look on that later on, but uh, yeah, let's get that thing apart. Okay, the motor connections were done via that flat flex and there is, uh, yeah, some contacts here for the heads. Um, can't really count it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, twenty-six pins. Okay, now comes the hard part. Getting the cover off. That was relatively easy. Uh, yeah, um, there's some moisture absorbance pad here. And you also notice that the, the cover plate and yeah, <clears throat> nice seal around here, uh, that the cover plate is stiffened up by additional metal. I or oh, maybe it's not for uh, stiffening up. I'm not sure. This could also be because this is kind of another metal. This could also be for magnetic shielding. But yeah, let's continue with the inside. This is some very strong magnet. You won't find that big magnets anymore modern drive I guess but uh, yeah that required <laughs> quite a lot of force and you have this little screen here where the head goes into the parking position to yeah I guess to catch any sputter that uh, yeah might uh, come off the discs over time it's really, can you see that? Yeah, it's really kind of a mesh. Um, okay, so that's the connector we saw and this should all come off with the head assembly. And the head is typically screwed <laughs> down here with that nut or screw or bolt. Or is it? Hmm. I have no idea how they assembled that thing. Maybe some more screws on the back. 
Okay, here's the head assembly. Uh, nothing special here. Uh, yeah, but it only got four heads. Now I think thought we would be able to yeah, get the other magnet out. I put that uh, far away, another big one. Okay, so this hmm, parking position, not really, I guess the parking position was here, but they had a separator between the, yeah, just two platters here and can I get that off as a whole? Not quite. Oh yes. The whole spindle assembly. Okay, that was the flat flex. I'm <coughs> sorry for that. The whole spindle assembly is screwed in with a motor and it's yeah it's only two platters um yeah i can mm, disassemble that further but uh very noticeable the spindle axis is not pressed in in most modern drives they yeah they <laughs> don't screw that to the body but they press it in and uh, you can only remove it with a hammer or so. Mm, it's cheaper of course and uh, yeah you don't expect anybody to uh, disassemble a hard drive for maintenance purposes. Okay this is giving me a little bit of trouble here. Nope no luck here. But um, let's go to the more interesting part, the main board or controller board if you like. Uh, let me set up the camera in a different way. Let's go with a macro lens over the board. Uh, so yeah, about here is the top right corner there's the SCSI connector and uh, well of course we have a flash chip here on board uh, it's a 4 megabit chip organized 512k by 16 from Fujitsu that's the old Fujitsu logo the F there and we have an, sorry, <laughs> to the side, a Coologic chip, a tech 485, and that's the, yeah, near to the SCSI interface, the SCSI controller. We have further down uh, another memory chip, that's, uh, yeah, 48LC2M. 32B2. That's actually the only chip available uh, <laughs> that you can still buy through normal channels. And that's the buffer RAM. Um, SD RAM 64 megabits. Yeah. 23 bit wide. Hmm. So, uh, anything else? Yeah, let's continue down here with that thingy. 
can I have? Yeah, nice focus. Uh, yeah, no longer available today, but uh, it is in fact the motor driver. <laughs> Lots of pins for a motor driver, wouldn't you say? Yeah, but I guess, uh, yeah, if you look at, um, yeah, the traces coming out of there, there are a lot of uh, traces which are, yeah, coupled together. So, yeah, as I said, 20 watts is consumed by that hard drive. Um, yeah, I will show it uh, in a little bit overview. Uh, yeah, the whole board again later on. Uh, yeah, ARM chip. There's a real processor on it. Uh, yeah, no data sheets available for that one either, but it's the processor. Um, I have no idea what that is. Maybe you have. Um, couldn't find any data sheet for it. Uh, yeah, and then we have another Marvel chip here and that's the yeah the head driver or the head interface to the head. I didn't find a real data sheet for that one but yeah that thing is driving the head and yeah something else here no, not really, that little thingy here, but that's just an LCX244 buffer line driver. So nothing special here, but yeah, all in all a very complex board uh, compared to modern hard disk controller boards. Lots of ship functionality, yeah spread out to lots of different silicon and uh, yeah also of note <laughs> these are all test points here a whole lot of test points because if you have that many components a lot can go wrong during assembly uh, yeah some inductors here so there's some voltage regulation going on I guess and uh, yeah, that's it for the board. There's really absolutely nothing on the back side, so. And here's a, a yeah the connector to the head assembly, and it's uh, not it's uh, only twenty two pins. I think I said uh, twenty six pins, but it's only twenty two pins. Yeah. That's it, I guess. Uh, yeah, a uh, whole lot more stuff. Uh, yeah, effort went into building these old hard drives. And uh, yeah, you may have noticed it's only two platters, the 73 gig version. I think there was also a 150 gig version or 140 something gig version available with uh, four platters and a 36 gig version with only a single platter and these things were really expensive in their days. Um, also of note uh, that yeah magnet assembly for the head is extremely well shielded. I mean you have absolutely yeah no magnetic field outside it. Yeah, this is oh, quite interesting to have a look at a uh, really old drive. And uh, well, I will try to uh, get my hands on maybe even some older drives or uh, at least some um, yeah high performance um, server drives in the future. That's it for now. Bye.